Hello everyone and welcome back to Larry's Prairies, where you learn about animals and learn to pronounce your teacher's name. So over the past few weeks, uh, our 8th graders have uh, been learning about, about uh, genetics, heredity, and which for the rest of you, you'll learn later. It's the study of uh, how characteristics are passed from, uh, from parents to offspring. But one of our video lectures from, th from that subject discussed guinea pigs. And there was some confusion over what guinea pigs are. So I decided we're going to have a, an additional introduction to this, this species uh, here in Lurie's Furries. So, guinea pigs. Yeah. Yeah. First, first from the taxonomy, kingdom animalia, they're animals. Phylum chordata, we're still dealing with vertebrates. And class mammalia, so we are once again dealing with an actually furry Lurie's, Lurie's Furry. And here, order rodentia, the rodents, which, mean, which in particular means that guinea pigs are not pigs, because if they were, if they were true pigs, they would be order aerodactyl, as we, as we saw last, last week. But, so fam family cavity, which are guinea pigs and their wild cousins. And the, the particular species here is cavia porcellus, Porcellus, of course, literally means pig, and it's a guinea pig. <laughs> All right, so, the guinea pig. They're 8 to 10 inches long, weight between 1 and a half and 2 and a half pounds. These are herbivores, they eat grasses. But unlike anything we've introduced so far in Larry's phrase, these are domestic animals. So, I'm... Um, this means that they are not found in the wild. So like uh, so dogs and cats, they're considered to be a distinct species from their wild relatives. So the guinea pigs were domesticated in the Andean region, so mountains of South America, from wild cavity species, which are found throughout the continent. So they're South American natives to the extent that they can be considered natives at all. They're domestic species, so their real home is a uh, human breeding environment. And what are they used for? Well, originally, the guinea pigs were domesticated as meat-producing animals, just, just like the true pig, and uh, they're still somewhat, somewhat used for that purpose among the people of the Indian region, but for the most part, they have other uses. So, from the 17th century on, guinea pigs have been a popular choice of a laboratory animal. In fact, in English, the phrase a guinea pig is an, is an idiom used to describe uh, pe people or animals that are subjects of experiments. However, guinea pigs are not nearly as prevalent in the actual laboratory setting as they once were. About 2% of all lab animals are actually guinea pigs. The majority are other, other rodents, usually, usually mice and rats. So the overwhelming use of guinea pigs today is that they're bred for the pet trade. Okay. So because being a, being a domestic animal and a popular pet, there's no concerns over population. You know, humans take care of them. Guinea pigs aren't going anywhere. So that, that's what you need to know about guinea pigs. They're, they're cute. They're, they're among the larger rodents, or they're not the largest, uh, the, the biggest rodent is the, cap is the capybara, which is a re distant relative of the guinea pig, also South American native. Uh, so, so our sources, wi Wikipedia as usual, don't need to go anyplace exotic for guinea pigs, they're well known. And the images, again, from, from, from Wikipedia and other public sources. Well, so that's what you need to know about the guinea pig. Don't confuse it with a real pig. It's a separate, it's a separate animal, a completely different uh, class. But, but they're, use they're useful for science, and so we need to know about them. So have a great day, everyone, and next week we'll have another animal.